Okay, I want to go through and, and um, <clears throat> show you the raw file <clears throat> of uh, those images right out of the camera uh, of the mushroom. If you watch the mushroom macro video uh, and you clicked over and you're watching this one, I'm going to go ahead and go to Photoshop and then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to open. And I'm just showing you all this so that you can see the, you know, I get those images out of camera uh, lit like this. Um, and I think it was, I wanted to do, well, uh, 7293, I want to do this one here. Um, and so you can see it's, you know, camera, camera raw, it's a DNG file, <clears throat> I shoot in raw. We'll go ahead and open this up. Um, and what I want to tackle right away is, uh, uh, I'll show you real quick what I want to do. Um, I want to go to brush tool so I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay, edit. Okay, so what I want to do, the first thing I do is I look and see what is most distracting in this image. And this whole blob of emptiness right here that I could have fixed uh, just by adding some more moss in the scene when I took the picture, um, that's pretty distracting. This is pretty distracting. This here is distracting. Uh, and this here. Okay, so, um, you know, having highlighted those things, uh, those are initially what I want to look at and what I'm going to fix because I want you to just see this glowing beautiful mushroom and with these big blobs of mossless dark background you, your eyes miss all that so um, I'll just make a duplicate layer of this and, and I'm not teaching you Photoshop this is just the way that I'm doing this you know so you can see uh, how I edit my images I'm not telling you how to do this or teaching you Photoshop there's plenty of channels on there and I'm sure there's better ways you can do this this is just the way that I'm doing it so uh, first thing I want to do I want to go over to my patch tool uh, let me zoom out just a little bit and let's take and use this awesome patch tool uh, structures are at one um, if I go up any higher than that you're gonna start to see a, a, a harder line around this so let's bring this down okay let it think for a second there we go even at one you still see a little bit of this in here uh, so what I'll do to combat that is I'll do a soft brush and, and this works easy because it's a soft background that's a blur uh, soft blurry background so I got my clone stamp tool uh, sh shift to two for 20 percent what i'll do is i'll just go over here and just kind of blend some of this this line away we'll just do it from random sides there we go okay okay i'm just zooming in and out and taking a look and seeing what if i can see any hard edge in there and i and I'm good I, I'm good right there so okay so there's that spot there but I do have a bit of a duplicate uh, I do have a duplicate pattern in here that I want to show you that and that so I, I want to avoid I want to avoid that so what we'll just do is we'll just I mean, you can use the patch tool again, um, and we can come in here, you know, and just patch that away. Uh, we'll do it somewhere over, you know, over here. Okay, there we go. That looks fine. I can do a, a clone stamp and come in there and blend those edges a little bit. And I'm probably going to add a field blur later anyway, so it's going to, some of this is even going to become less visible. And I could have saved myself time if I would have just shot the picture and added more moss in the scene. But hey, here we are. <clears throat> okay, so, um, this other spot up here I don't like, so let's do this. And we'll come over and just kind of blend that a little bit. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> next thing is this right here. It's pretty distracting uh, right in here, this. 
and, f and for that let's try the let's try the patch tool again um, let's do okay let's just do this See what we get. Okay, it's not too bad. Okay, we'll do it again right here. And this is works pretty easily because it's like I say, it's blurry. It's a soft blurry background. I wouldn't do this if it was fence, you know, fencing or or you know, break or I wouldn't do it this loosely uh, if it was something that was really needed to be a lot of sharp matching lined up details. But this isn't that, so so we're good. Um, let's do sh clone stamp and let's go to a hundred percent to I don't want really a repeating pattern in there so we'll just come over something like that there we go <clears throat> and I'm just with a low opacity brush I'm just brushing some of this stuff away here that I don't want uh, to be visible that's all just really quickly and I could have done this if I would have took the picture in the beginning if I would have paid a little bit better attention to my I just got so excited I saw the mushrooms and like ah look at this mushroom and it's not even just mushrooms it's just the photography in general I just really <clears throat> You get out there and you get lost and, and you just get excited and you have a good time <clears throat> using your imagination and, and and sometimes in all that enthusiasm you <laughs> you forget something you know and uh, that's what this Photoshop is for let me take that white piece away that's terrible looking okay um, a couple more little spots here and then we'll get on to some other stuff down a little bit that's all okay that's good okay and that was hundred uh, that was a hundred percent I think yeah that's two hundred percent yeah so we're, we're good with that I want to zoom in and just look at my overall sharpness of the image and see if there's anything uh, I mean I, I got these really sharp in the camera you know and this is two hundred percent you know, you've got some nice edges and, you know, in here you've got some, let's, uh, I'm not sure what I'm talking about. You've got some really nice, uh, in here, some nice uh, highlights and, and shadows going in those ridges. And I really like that. Uh, and we're going to define those and bring those out later. There's nothing on. Sometimes you get these little mushrooms and they'll be like bits of earth and, bark and things on them and I if I don't clean them off out there with a paintbrush or something then I'll I'll just clone stamp it away in Photoshop but we got some really good detail overall in, in, in all this I want to zoom in and just look at my overall sharpness of the image and see if there's anything uh, I mean I got these really sharp in the camera you know and this is 200% you know you've got some nice edges and you know in here you've got some that's uh I'm not sure what I'm talking about. You got some really nice uh in here some nice uh highlights and, and shadows going in those ridges and I really like that. Uh and we're gonna define those and bring those out later. There's nothing on sometimes you get these little mushrooms and they'll be like bits of earth and bark and things on them and I if I don't clean them off out there with a paintbrush or something then I'll I'll just clone stamp it away in Photoshop. But we got some really good detail overall in, in, in all this. Um, if you look and see all these darks and lights, ridges in here, I want to go ahead and sort of accentuate some of that uh, right now. Some of that and, 
you know um, this I'll get with some sharpening and clarity or bring some of that out so uh, right now let's go over here and let's do a curves adjustment layer um, doo -doo -doo -doo, curves, where you at? curves adjustment layer um, and let's do the dark part of it first so let me drag down a little bit it might be a little harsh maybe right in there I'm gonna click OK uh, invert that and I've got my brush I forget my brush hardness where I should be that's fine right here I don't really want it hard because I'm at a real small uh, real small brush so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my flow I'm gonna go down to like uh, zero five percent and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and let's see in these shadows in here it should uh, be let's see yeah it is just ever so slightly but but it does make a difference you know it does make a difference let's go up to uh, 10% come along with it a little bit faster you know we're just going in the shadow areas of these ridges uh, to create some and it's really fun to get your eye to see all the the dark parts of the images how the ridges are formed by the shadows and the lighting you know it, it, it really is nice to be able to once your eyes adjust on the part that you you know want it really like right in here this little loop right here I'll toggle it off and on see right in here and then when I do it with the curves adjustment layer and I drag it up it's going to be even a little bit brighter so it's going to bring that out a little bit more and it's not you know that's without it and that's with it it's just a little bit more and it will come along with it a little bit faster you know we're just going in the shadow areas of these ridges uh, to create some and it's really fun to get your eye to see all the the dark parts of the images how the ridges are formed by the shadows and the lighting you know it, it, it really is nice to be able to once your eyes adjust on the part that you you know want it really like right in here this little loop right here and I'll toggle it off and on see right in here and then when I do it with the curves adjustment layer and I drag it up, it's going to be even a little bit brighter. So it's going to bring that out a little bit more. And it's not, you know, that's without it. And that's with it. It's just a little bit more. And then what I'll do is I'll do another curves adjustment layer. Uh, and I'm going to drag up and just look at the, the, the lights. Uh, if I can drag up, there we go. Right in there. Same thing, just gonna little spot in here. Let's do it at five percent here because the brights it's a lot more visible. And the effect is a whole lot quicker. But this image it doesn't need a whole lot uh, right out of the camera it's it's pretty pretty nice right out of the camera with the lighting uh, um, let's toggle that off and on see it's right in there catch it catch it right in there um, see there's with it without it and it just adds a little bit more and it, and it kind of creates a little bit more of the idea of sharpness right there let me just use that okay so let's zoom out a little bit uh, go to my lasso tool do a feather 
it's at 50 now that's fine let's do this let's go and just make a light lasso right in there okay I'm gonna whoops fill that with white I'm gonna change my blend mode to color dodge I'm gonna change my fill okay okay and what I'm gonna do is I want to create a, a, a layer mask on that so I'll just brush it back in where I want that effect with a nice soft brush uh, it's coming here at 30% as a starting place uh, and we'll just brush this a little bit right in here that effect back in because uh, I like it right in there I like it a little more pronounced boom now we can see we've got a little bit more brightness in there just a little bit and I like that it's nice uh, like a little stamp visible there and then um, we'll go in here and remember I want to keep my images as close to real as I got them out of the camera I'm not trying to create a fantasy wonderland of, of uh, unrealistic you know fairy dust and stuff like that you know because I use these images for for stock and different you know different things that I want to you know that's why there's so much space in, in this part of the frame I, I leave that for copy space for for uh, customers that buy the images they can insert copy in there and uh, you know uh, things like that so that's why I leave that space there I've got over here I've got the mushroom you know in the rule of thirds it's over there in the corner and I've got the open space over here and it's just a nice balanced picture for something to stand alone or for copy space so anyway, uh, so I want to keep these as close to, to as I as I captured them in the in the field. I don't want to go and make a bunch of cuckoo stuff. But um, so now uh, let's go ahead and I want to do some sharpening on here. And there's a couple of different ways that I you can sharpen this. Uh, the first part I'm going to sharpen is just this cap. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go over here. I'm going to make three copies of this layer. Then I'm going to go down here. Uh, apply image uh, subtract layer 2 copy yeah good okay then um, we're gonna go over here and I'm gonna take the blurry one away and I'm gonna go to hard light <coughs> commit to that layer style now what I'm looking at this, this is a hundred percent okay here's with the sharpening on it and without the sharpening and all I'm focused on at this point is the mushroom cap I don't care about the sharpening and the rest of the image uh, I'm just looking at this mushroom cap so uh, we can do hard light, um, soft light, or overlay. Overlay is nice. I like overlay. I think I like overlay as do hard light. Okay, we'll do hard light, and then what we'll do is um, we'll just put a layer mask on there, <clears throat> and then I'll click my brush tool and I just keep the flow real low and we'll build up on it and I'm not sharpening the whole thing just the front most part of it where your eyes you know are, are where it's my original focus was anyway I'm not trying to sharpen things that weren't sharp uh, so let's go in here and make a pass at some of this this in here right in there okay can toggle off and on and you can reduce the the effect okay there we go and you can really see the highlights and the, and the the light the contour the cap and stuff right in here it's really nice uh, the way we caught that let me go in here and click X and sh take that just a little bit back because it was really darkening up those ridges too much and I didn't like that right in here is nice it's good it looks moist and fibrous and 
whatever the other technical jargon is for <laughs> for mushrooms, <laughs> you know. Uh, but let's you can see the difference in that. So that that's nice. I like that. Okay. So um oh I don't want to do that. Let's do uh, let's do that. You know this. Uh, we'll do one more layer, and I will filter, uh, sharpen, smart sharpen, and I'll go in here, and I'll look at the stem itself. And these settings are already in here because I, I this is a lot of the settings I use most of the time. So I'm gonna I'm gonna click OK. Uh, and go back into 100%. What is this stuff all down here doing? I have no idea. Cut it out. What is this? Who knows? Anyway, um, so, it, it, you know, and whenever I do my sharpening, I look at 100% and I just make sure. Uh, and the overall sharpening brought out a little bit more in the cap. Uh, and definitely in the stem, you can really see, see right here in this, uh, let me just make a new layer and, sh and show you. Um, right in here, if you watch, when I toggle off and on, that's without the sharpening, and that's with the sharpening. So it really brings and all these textures and things like that. Uh, I could go in there and just increase the contrast, but that's that looks really nice, that amount of sharpening. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> but you know, then it also sharpens the background and makes all this weird cuckoo stuff. So what we're gonna do is just make a layer mask, uh, change my foreground color to white, 100% uh, flow or change, change my foreground color to white, there we go, and brush back in. I'm gonna do this, you know, uh, at a higher view percentage, 200%. Then I'm going to go in here, I'm going to brush this sharpening back in where I want it. I don't want it in the blurry areas because you sharpen blurry stuff and it looks like crap. To sharpen where it was supposed to be sharp. And you could change the, the flow of this also, you know, you can go down here to 50 on this since we already sharpened this once. And see, this just brings out a little bit more. That's a little too high. Let's go down to 20. And uh, let me see. Okay, yeah. Let's go down to 20. 20 on the flow. There we go. I don't want to overkill it. Right in there. There we go. Down here is a little bit blurry because of the, the focal plane. Uh, so I wouldn't want to sharpen really any of this. Okay, so I'm good with that. And I want to show you real quick um, <clears throat> the really quick the before and after. So let's window arrange uh, to a vertical to a horizontal. There we go. <clears throat> okay. So I want to show you what we've got already. I mean, just from the you know the top images what all the everything we edited out all these spots this little tree bark over here fix that up sharpened let's zoom in on this to a hundred percent on the cap and then same thing up here hundred percent on this cap a lot more sharpening a lot more dodging and I, I, it's kind of dodging and burning I just did it with layers curves adjustment layers um, I mean you can really see in here it's a lot 
more defined looking than, than in, in the original. But I, when I shoot in RAW in my in my camera, I, I turn all the sharpening off. I turn all the, you know, the color saturation. Uh, I shoot in RAW and and I don't let it sharpen. I don't let it add contrast. I do all that manually so that I can do that myself. I don't want the camera to do any of that for me. So when it comes out of my camera, it looks like you know, like an un you know, unseasoned steak would taste probably. You know, what I mean, I want to add all the seasoning myself. So <laughs> you know, and that's why. Uh, uh, my images come out of camera looking a little dull. I do that on purpose. Um, uh, so anyway, um, that's this image here. Let me close that off. Uh, no, I don't want to say that. <coughs> so, and then you know, if I wanted to, well, no, that's fine. I mean, and and, and really, that's all that image needed. Uh, it just you know 15 minutes of taking out some minor distractions a little dodging and burning and a little sharpening uh, but I got the light right in the camera and that's and that's what you want you can see on this side I, I handheld it I fired the strobe and I had a reflector for fill on this side um, you know uh, and I could do this little little spot right here let me see real quick that kind of kind of bothers me a little bit let's see You know what I could, uh, could do too. Let me zoom in on here. Uh, Twenty percent uh, clone tool. I th get some of those hard edges away. That's fine. Uh, what I was gonna say is. Um, There we go. I was gonna say that uh, I could go in really quickly. Let me make a, another copy. <clears throat> another thing I might do. Let's go to Blur Gallery and um, uh, Blur Gallery. Where are you at? Fill Blur. Okay. Let's do. Um, let's add a Fill Blur over here. Let's line right there and then let's take this over here and zero zero and let's bring that down just a little and this is zero bring that over there I don't want to affect any of this at all <clears throat> just and what we did is we just add a little fill blur in here we could even come over in here like this and that right there okay Now let's go in here and zoom in real quick and toggle in and see what we okay make sure we're not dulling uh, or blurring out any of the the mushroom and We are slightly right here. There we go. I don't want to blur any of that poor guy over there. Uh, Ten. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Did I get all that right there? Yeah. And you can see if you just look right in here, that's with the blur, that's without the blur. Just the lighting, 
that I did creates separation you know naturally from the background by the way it's lit because I take the when I do it it's the three steps that I use is I get an ambient uh, proper ambient exposure then I make my next exposure uh, intentionally underexpose it you know by maybe two stops or so depending on the light scene and then my next shot is the one that I light the subject with the flash so that process gives me the it gives me the <clears throat> Uh, separation naturally but sometimes uh, you know I want to maybe add a little bit more blur to it or something uh, and that's fine but I think I think we're good here uh, so you know and then with this image here uh, once again we can just zoom into a hundred percent and I mean we've got lots of detail in the stem you can see lots of fiber in there uh, you know lots of I mean, it almost looks like it's glowing, and that's because the light that came in from over here. Let me make a get my brush tool out. I'll show you the. Uh, I, sh I I I fired the. I had the the light over here, and with the with the snoot and the grid on it, and so it fired this way, and then I had my reflector here, and so this. Uh, actually, I had my, you could see I had my my light of right about in here because it fired up and it illuminated the underside of this cap. And then this this here uh, reflector bounced light back in and illuminated this side of the stem here. And it just, you know, it just made a really pretty, look at all this glowing in here. And it's all just the way that I shot it with the light. Okay, so we're, we're good. That's that mushroom photo. And it's pretty much done right in the camera. Just a few blemishes I needed to fix. And that's it. Okie dokie. Hope you guys enjoy the video. You know, and I'm going to try to put new content up, you know, uh, a couple times a month. Um, on different photography projects that I go out and do. And then different ways that I edit the images. Take a look at my website. Uh, you know, um, and see the images that I that I do. Milky Way images, macro images, you know, still life food uh you know, food photography, lots of different types of photography that I, that I do. So click through, take a look at my website, uh, stay tuned on my channel. I'll put new content up all the time, a couple times a month, and I appreciate you guys looking. All right, bye.